want to give a special thanks to Mattel for sending these products to us as a gift for free. What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? It's February, which means it is Black History Month. Barbie and Nikeo Grico, co-founder of 13 Loon, have teamed up to create this box. So let's take a look inside. Oh, wow, loving the colors. There's a card. Representation is an important part of the Barbie community. We are committed to increasing black representation in our doll line by showcasing a breadth of skin tones, body types, and hair texture, as well as spotlighting inspiring woman, Bessie Coleman. In support of the black community, Barbie is pledging a total of $50,000 towards social impact work, including a donation to Girls Right Now and Bessie Coleman Aviation All-Stars and spotlighting female-founded companies like Relevant, Skin Champagne, Ami Cole, and Gloss Hood. Now let's take a look inside the box. Yeah! But before we get started, let's make an inspired backdrop using wood panels. We can glue a few together to make larger boards. I made a total of three boards, then I lightly sketch a design that goes all the way across. I fill in each section with black, pink, a peachy salmon color. I am out of yellow, so we're going with a peach and more pink. I painted another board all black. Take the colorful one and glue it to the back to complete our inspired backdrop. It's a work of art that has a shelf, so it can also be used as a doll display. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, this is the Barbie marine biologist who studies oceans, organisms, and human impact on marine life. We are getting a doll with the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulders, and hip. There's a fabric vest, it's solid on the back, and Velcro's in the front. Underneath, she has a painted on bathing suit, her feet are flat, brown eyes, a reddish-orange lipstick, and the paint looks pretty good. There are lots of science-related accessories. This little trunk here is used for storage and is like a little mobile lab. There's a small tank that we can put right here and a fish to go inside. More sea creatures, coral and a shell, a microscope, a net, that we can hang right here, a camera, clipboard, snorkel gear, including a mask, and fins, and stickers. I like the accessories. If you're all about STEM, here's a Barbie doctor and a Chelsea science playset. The doctor is a curvy Barbie with brown hair and red lipstick. The face paint looks pretty good. This doll has a white lab coat with pink stitching. The sleeve stop just past the elbows, wears a floral dress underneath with a mint green stethoscope and wears flat pink shoes. Here's Chelsea, ready to follow in her footsteps. Only she has white sneakers. Her lab coat is printed onto her dress. She has little pink safety goggles and a microscope, building a little inventory here. But I am loving all of this. We have a little Petri dish and a tiny magnifying glass. Does it really work? Oh, it does. There's a periodic table and another purple clipboard. I think we are getting some really cute pieces here and I cannot guarantee that Chelsea will get to keep it because I totally need this magnifying glass in my doll room. If you're into history, here is the Inspiring Women series. We have Madam C.J. Walker, Ida B. Wells, and Bessie Coleman. We have full reviews on our channel for Madam C.J. Walker and Ida B. Wells. So let's take a look at Bessie Coleman. At the age of 23, Bessie Coleman left Atlanta, Texas and moved to Chicago to build a better life for herself and pursue an education. It was there in the Windy City where she decided she wanted to learn to fly. At that time in the United States, Bessie could not obtain a pilot's license because she was a woman of color. Not giving up, Bessie learned French and traveled to France. 
where she ultimately fulfilled her dream and became the first black woman and Native American woman to become a pilot. This doll comes with a certificate of authenticity, letting you know this is a black label signature doll, a doll stand. This doll has short black hair that is curled under. There is product in it. She has a natural lip color. The face paint looks pretty clean. She wears a brown plastic hat with a gold painted detail, a green coat with working pockets, a black ribbon belt with a plastic buckle, a thinner ribbon goes up and over the shoulder. There's a white sleeveless shirt underneath. She has green pants that gather at the bottom and stop just past the knee. Wears tall black boots. Has articulation at the head, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist. That's a single hinge at the elbow. There's rotation at the hip and a single hinge at the knee. And the feet are flat. I'm loving these earth tones. I like that the pockets are functional. And those boots. Let's just say I got my eye on them. Brooklyn in her camping gear was also included in the box. Along with Barbie Fashionista number 194 on a made-to-move body, Barbie Fashionista number 198, and 201. Check out our Barbie Fashionista review, where we cover these dolls in greater detail. And there's a video for Barbie Extra number 20 as well. Now this is new to our collection. It's a newborn pub's playset with a doll that looks just like Brooklyn. She has straight hair pulled back with an elastic headband, wears a striped pastel dress with no opening in the back, yellow sandals. She can move at the head, shoulder, hip, and knee. She comes with a dog whose front legs can move, and when you do, it opens up the belly. We get three little pups in a little carrier, along with a paw print blanket or a towel, a paw print tub, a bowl, dog food, a sponge, bottle, a brush, and a few dog toys. So we put the puppies inside the dog. All three will fit. And then the dog has the puppies. The puppies have a little color reveal shape that changes with warm and cold temperatures. It's gone. And Brooklyn can carry the little puppies around. Now, this wasn't a part of the box, but I just had to have it. I picked this up at the store the other day. It's Chelsea as a barista. It has a cute little coffee maker. What is this, like an espresso machine? The doll has her hair pulled up into a little puff. She has a fabric dress with a printed apron. Her legs are blue and she has white sneakers. The machine is pink with some silver details. We have a little knob here and if we added a little paint, it would make it pop. Did I buy this just for the coffee maker? Yes, I did. Looks like we also have a little chocolate syrup, a croissant, a tiny little drink, a large to-go cup, a silver colored creamer, and a large blue mug that can fit in the coffee maker. Love this. I get real excited about accessories, y'all. And the Chelsea accessories have been some of my favorites today. Wow, there was a lot in that box. In honor of Black History Month, showcasing dolls of color. And now we can add Bessie Coleman to our little museum. Once again, big thanks to Mattel for sending this box to us for free. And we would like to thank you for joining us for another video. And as soon as I get my new shelves on the wall, I'll take a picture for all of you to see. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuffthefrogvlog and Bella of myfroggystuff. And we will see you next time.